disclaimer first. I am a, am a feminist, a serious feminist. Like, like, you know, Audrey Lord and Adrian Rich and other important feminists whose names begin with A. So any sexist implications that anybody gets out of this story is entirely the responsibility of the listener. <laughs> So my first pregnancy was terrible. I mean, I gained a, a ton of weight. I had no energy. The baby kicked like crazy. I had heartburn. And, and the childbirth, forget about it. I mean, a nightmare. It lasted for two years or, or two, two days. I mean, the, I told the nurse just kept giving me more and more drugs to make the contractions more painful. I told her that she should work for the Argentinian Junta. <laughs> but then finally, this beautiful baby boy was born and all was forgiven. So I got pregnant again. <laughs> and this pregnancy was totally different. I didn't gain a lot of weight, I had no heartburn, I had plenty of energy, and I began to think that this baby was a girl. I mean, it was just a totally different experience. And now for this, babe, for this pregnancy, I had a nurse midwife, and she gave me a book to read about natural childbirth. And I thought, yeah, yeah, that all sounded good, yeah, except I got to the chapter about the childbirth in the squatting position, and I said, no, 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 that's, that's a bit much. I'm not doing that. But the rest of the book, I thought it was all good. So this pregnancy continues, and it's so easy. I'm, I continue to be, a sh to be sure that the baby is a girl. I'd always like the name Elena, so I chose that name for this girl. <laughs> And on May 7th, 1997, I started to feel of, of some regular contractions, so, but they weren't, they weren't too strong, so I went to sleep. The next morning, my husband Saul and my sister Anne and I, we went to the, hot, to the nurse midwife's office. Her name was Mary. And Mary said, yeah, it, um, come back after lunch. Or meet me at the hospital after lunch. So we went out to lunch, and then we went to the hospital, and things were still fine. A friend of mine was in the hospital, so I visited her, and then things started to get a little more intense. And I was sitting in a rocking chair about, you know, it's a, in a, you know, a little hospital room. I was, the rocking chair was about six feet from the bed, probably. And my midwife was counseling me. She was saying, now just picture your body opening like a flower. <laughs> and I've never been a meditator or anything like that, but I was like, okay, my body opening like a flower. <laughs> and so all of a sudden I realized that this was working and I had better get on that bed because that's where you're supposed to have babies, on beds. <laughs> And so I get up out of the rocking chair, and I take one step, and I'm fine, and I take another step, and I cannot take another step. I am stuck there, and this baby is coming. And there is this couple of minutes of just craziness. My husband is holding one side, and my sister's holding the other side, and the midwife is down here trying to grab, catch this baby. Luckily, she wasn't out of the hospital room. <laughs> And, and then they're setting me down and there's blood everywhere and my sister's cutting the cord and I say, I want to see her, where is she? Uh, and my sister looks at me with this scared face and I'm thinking, oh no, what's wrong with her? <laughs> is she missing an arm or does she have six fingers or, or what's wrong with her? I'm so scared. And my sister looks at me and says, she is a he. <laughs> I don't know why two nonviolent pacifist Mennonites named this child Mario after the, uh, the, uh, the Roman god of war, but we did. And he grew up to be a wonderful man, a man's man who doesn't share feelings. Or <laughs> Uh, 
questions. But my love for him is boundless. Thank you. Thank you for having me.